All right, I want to try out the new Malfurion quickly. Malf. Does the damage over time destroy buildings based on percentage health? No, it specifically says that it does not work against structural uh, against structures. As nature wills. Moonburn quest. I hear the wilds call. Hi, Malf. Hi, Malf. Nature's wrath upon you. One point four percent bonus damage, up to twenty five percent, and then it will also apply to mercs and monsters. Choose a talent. 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 Rework mouth, but leave flesh seat. <laughs> and scouting drone. <laughs> Why isn't this like a, a sentinel, like Huntress cast in, in, in Warcraft 3? Why does he still have life seed? I guess they didn't want to take away his strongest build. Yeah, he no longer has cleanse. Ice block, shrink ray. They, they leave him with so many generic talents. Two generic talents and a piece of uh, magic. Which has the highest win rate. Choose well, we'll take it. Life seed. Increase regrowth at high health. So, one thing I wanted to try. Choose a talent. Okay. Let's take some damage. And then uh, we regrowth. We're supposed to get. Two arms. So, we gain 86 per second when we're high life. And then suddenly it retroactively scales down. That's what I wanted to know. So it's 61 at level 20, but it can be more. Okay, so this one is live updating. Even you heal everyone. If you hurt mouth, everyone will start getting less healing. But I don't see an indicator like hard and focus used to have. There should be an indicator. Blizzard, please. Tenacious Roots is still around and revitalized, gives himself CDR and so on. Alright, so let's say Choose we're going for Moonfire build. It would Choose be Moonburn. Uh, radius and Monocles reduction. For Moonfire build, you could either get the range or the radius. Choose let's say we do radius. Let's say we do bonus damage Choose on subsequent ones. Let's say we go for Twilight Dream. Choose a talent. Uh, probably would want ice block. I don't know, and then revitalize Choose to revitalize yourself. And then we still know what rewind does and storm shield, so we'll try astral communion. It shall be done. So that's a three seconds cooldown. Let's complete the quest, by the way. And now the cooldown is uh, two seconds. Yeah. Wait, where's the cooldown reduction? Oh yes, using Moonfire reduces the cooldown of next Moonfire by half a second. Stacks up to three times, so it'll be one and a half after a period of time. Now we can't, we must actually ask for an allied hero to show up. The land and I. One. Because uh, we want to try out Innervate on somebody. And we want to see our DPS too. Okay, so our DPS is 320 without Entangled. That's not too good, First but it is nature. pretty big range with a big radius. It can be on multiple people. My hand. Um, and then we give him mana, and then let's see how it goes. Nice CDR. Okay, 
That's funny. I have Bolt of the Storm, so 90 second cooldown. It shares a cooldown with Twilight Dream, so if you just cast Twilight Dream, you can't use it. Or you can use Bolt. Very short radius range. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you do cast it instantly when you arrive. Like, you see Malf walking up and he's like... You see the channel. Surprise, mother trucker! A killing blow. It's not as bad as I thought, I guess. Return it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, Bolt, this is now a shared cooldown together with Twilight Dream, and it also makes the silence four seconds, and you do the channel for one second, and then in the new place you do the Twilight Dream at the same place. Bolt of the Storm range in general has been gutted by 20% radius, which you can see in my patch notes review. Funny. Funny stuff. Let's try out Choose Entangle. So if you go for Entangle, Vengeful Roots, you'll be casting a lot of Entangles, you'll need mana. But then you don't really offer yourself any mana at level 1. Moonburn will cost you mana eventually. Scouting drone is neutral. Shando's clarity can mark. be combined Choose. with Revitalize to gain extra mana. So let's say in theory you could go for that one. Choose you get the Vengeful Roots, you get the Strangling Choose Binds, you get the whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's say Tranquility. Choose a talent. This one doesn't really matter. Choose a talent. And then you either get the larger roots, longer roots, and longer roots. Or more mana and CDR. We complete the quest. 9,001. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe that's a bit too strong. 9,001. It's... I mean, it's over 9,000, let's face it. It shall be done. <laughs> I, I think that is kind of unlikely to happen. Choose a talent. In a real game. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. There should be like a slider bar for quests as well. Well, that was rather entertaining. Choose a talent. Well, it's going to be hard to test. But that was mouth. Interesting. Clever wow, fancy right. new colors. Let me show you how it's done. Nice. Thrall, you used to be my most played hero uh, in Hero League this season, but I kind of uh, scaled him back as he lost out a little bit in mobility and, and burst compared to some of the other new assassins. We're going to set his level at 20 right away as we are already Choose familiar with his base Choose a stats. Frostwolf Resilience is going to be 460 health at this level. Significantly less than before, 50% less. But in return, he has the ability to hit more targets. Feral Spirit now is a pass-through route that will root everyone that it hits Understood. for one second. When you hit people, it gains a longer range. This one should hit until here. Oh. This one should hit just beyond the gate, but because it hits someone, it goes all the way to the fountain. Interesting Elements mechanic. Alright. Either you get a passive range increase, one extra bounce, and restorative mana when you chain lightning. Choose a talent. Excellent for laning and sustain. Or a talent. you go for crash Choose lightning. A talent. But you must hit at least two heroes with a single use. Completed. So what we have now is 400 bounce damage bonus. So if we hit a minion, it will do more damage. Normally it's supposed to do 390 on the original target. And it's doing 595 on the other targets. It's supposed to do 195. Nice. After hitting 20 times like this, Chain Lightning also prioritized bouncing to heroes. So I hit a single minion, it immediately goes to Arthas before going to others. This is very strong. 
Choose a talent. Echo of the elements. Kill minions or heroes within one and a half seconds of hitting them with chain lightning. So this is very much a laning quest. It's not so much about the mana sustained in the range and the poke, but it's like, okay, this is my version of seasoned marksman, kinda. I'm gonna continually lane, kill minions very deliberately, just like an Asmodan with taste for blood would. After killing 10 enemies, reduce the mana cost of chain lightning, and also you get the second charge of chain lightning. Okay, Choose a talent. complete the quest. Reduce mana cost and second charge. It's pretty simple. Physical armor stacks for every enemy hero hits. Choose a talent. I get two charges. And this can really go up to 10, 16, etc. Choose Frost Wolf Pack. Choose it's seven heroes with Pharaoh Spirit. This progress is lost on death and when Thrall fails to hit a hero, you get the rain. Now the cooldown reduction, mana cost. Choose a talent. Roll. Complete the quest. Now it is only six seconds. Seven out of seven. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, man. Lots of, lots of uh, lockdown. So at level four, you choose in a wolf talent. But far more impactful than Lunara's Wisps ever were. For the whole. Manatite. Reduces basic ability cooldowns for half a second every time your Frost Wolf Resilience procs. Interesting. I like it. Much better than the old Manatite totem. Milestrom Weapon. You gain bonus attack damage when you Wind Fury hit people. You get the extra movement speed and permanent extra move speed. Let's complete that quest, baby. 115% forever. And when you mount, it's 145! No, just kidding, it's 130. Pitchy. And we also gain a thousand bonus damage. On? On Wind Fury. Wait, he has rhyme, huh? That's why. Struggle no more. Let's move. Slightly unlikely to get a thousand bonus damage. Ancestral wrath. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Activate to consume eight stacks of ancestral wrath. You gain one every time you frost resilience. Choose a talent. Ah. A clever strategy. Activate it, and then you can blood for blood someone. Four times. Over three seconds, but they take four procs. One is instant. That makes sense. Still, it's interesting. One proc and then three more after one second. Yeah, so it's like all 3.75%. For honor. And Follow through is still there, which is very nice with multiple chain lightnings, obviously. Sundering. Grace of Air is still there. Now, so much better. Together with Mana Titan Totem, you can get more Frost Wolf Resilience. So much better with Ancestral Wrath. Really nice synergy there. Finally, it became a relevant talent. Hmm. Frost Wolf's Grace Choose is an talent. instant heal. Completely useless when you're full life. Don't do what I did. And also, there is Spirit Shield, which is the Frost Wolf Resilience reducible cooldown for spell armor. Now, level 16. Tempest Fury is still there. We also have Alpha Wolf, where you a W someone, strategy. and then you have Giant Killer on them. Choose a talent. Double Giant Killer, in fact. But of course, Arthas has Rhyme. Uh, but yeah, of course, Rhyme is ignored Choose when you talent. do Giant Killer. 
Okay, or thunderstorm, casting chain lightning on a hero, you get the extra slow. Yes, this is the one that we didn't completely Choose understand before, per Choose se. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Stronger. You must Choose a hit. Right, you can slow someone for two seconds. It doesn't say it's two seconds. Can't confirm two seconds. So now he's slowed for more or what? Four oh six. Chain lightning's damage increased by twenty five percent while at forty percent bonus. Oh. Oh, there we go. Understood. Huh? Oh. Uh, I mustn't hit the same person. Yeah, uh, kind of weird. I, I find this one a bit weird. Would need more testing. Hmm. And of course, choose a talent. Yes. Choose a talent. No, the Doomhammer's fury. Cooldown reduction. And pathing blocker. <laughs> it's funny how long he keeps trying like unless you like go around it stupid thrall <laughs> for doom hammer understood Okay, Nexus Blades and Bolt, of course, is... Hey! Activate to teleport immediately and gain Wind Fury! I Choose didn't see talent. that part yet. Choose a talent. That Choose a talent. By the way, can I just say that we don't have a timer for how long Clever Wind Fury strategy. lasts yet? Shouldn't we? It says four seconds, but I feel like you should be able to see that. The new thrall I present to you. They fixed the bolts into Sundering Bug. Oh, I don't know about that one. Dodging, we wouldn't need to dodge. Because <laughs> it'd be dead. Oh, wow! Nice! Does anybody want to play a game, Kappa 3? <laughs> How impressive! Is that a reference to what happened yesterday? <laughs> 